Yo, what's going on guys? I got a little bit of a different video for today. I'm giving a few tips and tricks on how to become the best BTD player ever in history. I feel like this video will help a bunch of players out. It's very informative. I'm gonna break them up in a couple of different steps. Not because it needs to be broken up in steps, but because I'm really bad at transitions. And I'm also making this up along the way. So welcome on how to be the best BTD player in 2020. I hope you enjoy. Step 1. Don't be named Brian. Now we're gonna move on to step 2. As soon as you get into a battle, you might not realize this, but you become the greatest player of all time. I mean, you are going to die occasionally, but that's because it's total bullshit and the other guy got an OP 4th tower. Now, you might make some mistakes sometimes, but that's only because someone knocked on your door or your girlfriend called you. But you need to understand that these variables do not matter, because everybody else is trash compared to you. Alright, you might wonder, but sick, what happens if someone says they're better than me, or that I'm actually a bad player? Now you see, there's actually quite an easy fix for this now what you're gonna do is you want to get a jar any jar will do fine it just has to be in decent size so that you can cut up a bunch of pieces of paper and fit them in there now luckily wikipedia has our back as you can see there's a bunch of mental disorders posted on their site now all you need to do is write all of these disorders down on a piece of paper and put them in the jar and if anybody ever tells you that you're a bad player all you have to do is pull out one of these mental disorders and call them that followed by the word spastic i guarantee that this will make your enemies know that you are the greatest player of all time and nobody should be messing with you and with your newfound knowledge of creative insults that everyone actually uses we're gonna move on to step three how you should generally act in a battle and to put it quite simply really what you need to do is hate the fucking world i mean you need to be ruthless you need to be face palming constantly as well as spamming the thumbs down and see ya now if you're in the same discord server as someone you played against and he won then pull out your jar and start getting creative also you need to never say a positive thing to another player because that would imply that you were actually having fun, which is not the purpose of this game. So now that you know how to communicate with all these people that you're better than, we're gonna move on to step 4. Now you will lose a game sometimes and I'm sorry to tell you. Almost as sorry as the kid who beat you because he went heli farm ice and dread balloon cave. And he was totally greeting the whole time and you were totally lagging the whole game anyway so it doesn't even fucking count. Sorry, sorry, PTSD. So let's talk about dying. Sometimes you're gonna die a stupid death. Now whether you were distracted or tired, you're gonna look back at it and realize, yo I shouldn't have died there. Now. Fortunately for you, every time you die, it's the game's fault and it was total bullshit. At other times, your opponent might be tired or distracted and they will die an even more stupid death. But that's because they're fucking trash and you need to let them know that. I mean, nobody really likes dying. But let's say you got a pretty good record because obviously you're the best. But when you die, to save yourself the embarrassment, you're gonna have to claim that one of the big three happened. One, you were lagging. Two, that was bullshit and you totally should have defended that. And three, you only needed a couple of dollars to be able to afford an upgrade. Now, about what I was talking about before now every good move or a good decision in this game is bullshit unless you make it for example if somebody forces you to sell your farm by bait rushing you and then actually rushing you afterwards you have to face palm them as if they totally didn't do that on purpose and that it was a stupid move now if you force someone else to sell their farm you have to face palm them and do the laugh emote because that was totally on purpose and you need to let them know that you're their intellectual superior now here's a bonus tip for you if somebody else gets a really good fourth tower then they're lucky and they couldn't even beat you without it now if you get a lucky fourth tower and use it to win that's because they're trash and they just need to shut the fuck up whoa i just realized how most of these tips are basically just being an asshole to everyone which brings me to step five be an asshole so i don't really need to go into depth with this one it's really the small things like if you're playing on offside and your opponent places his dart in the wrong spot you just need to say like a little see ya and facepalm him and say nice and all that good stuff i actually like to take it a little deeper like if you're on a discord server with them call them kid call them noob and virgin virgin is a really good one because we all know that real life pussy destroyer spends all their free time trash talking on btd it makes a lot of sense if you don't think about it now we're moving on to step oh uh, i forgot what step we're on anyway we're moving on to another step now that you've learned the most important things this is the part where we go into the actual part of the game i'm not really gonna go into depth with this one you already know how to insult people that should be enough you know just click around build some farms spam your monkey farmers then quickly sell them again and build some towers face palm every now and then and say the occasional see ya and all that good stuff here's a bonus tip if you're someone who's well known in the community simply winning a game isn't enough style points matter if your opponent all outed you and you defended 
then you need to immediately sell all your towers as fast as possible and just spam 0, zero towers all over the map to taunt them. If you use something like a tag shooter, maybe just spam the tag shooter ability as fast as possible just to rub it in that your micro is better. Also, during the first 12 seconds of every map, you can place down your farm. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna spend those 12 seconds putting down as many farmers as possible, not only to show how superior your micro is, but also to show that you have enough money to be able to burn through them. Alright, I'm gonna end the video because I used the majority of my clips so please let me know if you found these tips useful remember to like that smash button and call me mean names in the comments life can be super happy life can be super sad i'm trying super hard to separate the good and bad i go back to my future just to get to my past